Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Chrono Part 37. We are back one full season later in the truck series. We're at Homestead. Oh my good lord, there's just a lot to kind of talk about. So, um, we'll start at the beginning. So, I kind of left everything as is uh, for Daytona. Then we went to Atlanta, which I knew I was going to win. Then we went to Vegas, and we won. So then I was thinking to myself, okay, there's something not right with uh, the settings that I have. Because now that I have everything 100 across the board, that suspension handling with that all the way up has made the car, like, a lot better. And we're now kind of OP. So this was the track that I was starting to notice that because Vegas has been a pretty tough track in this game to this point. This is on with the, the AI heavy normal tire work, too. So got out my handy-dandy notepad here. And... I wrote down some notes as I was doing like stuff throughout the season because I was constantly trying to uh, adjust the, the sliders and trying to see like what what one would work. So that's that Vegas was the turning point where I thought something was not right. And then I put stuff for Martinsville on normal for my wear and and stuff. And that point, I I still won. I actually won by many seconds over the field. I don't know how. But I did, and it was very strange. And then uh, Texas and Dover were not much to talk about because I absolutely just crushed the field again. So I was thinking, like, okay, so obviously normal tire wear isn't really working as it should. Oh, okay. Okay, I was looking at my notes wrong. So, yeah, up to this point, I had all of my tire wear stuff to, like, uh, less wear and more grip. Uh, the first race that I changed that was at Kansas. So that's why I made the change, and that's when I didn't win. But at the same time, it was still pretty tough like, in terms of like, the competitiveness. And then uh, Charlotte, the tire wear was insane for me on like the normal wear. But the AI didn't like wear like I did, so it was just very unbalanced. So I put mine on uh, less wear or m more grip, less wear. I don't know what it was, but it was, it was, it was that. And... Yeah, it's just, yeah, that certain tracks work better than others, that's the thing. Like, I just kept constantly messing with it. So I have here in my notes, uh, second Texas race, your normal tire wear goes down more than the AI on normal. Try, uh, tried for me, less wear in the normal uh, fall off, I believe. So less wear in the normal, then same result as before, but less wear and more growth felt more, felt the best balance in that mode, so. Yeah, and then we went to Iowa. Iowa with less wear, more grip uh, was great, but pit stops in the final stage. I took right side tires, but lost time. So they must have taken no tires, which is impossible for me because I would have blown a tire. So that, that's that's so what I'm trying to say in, the, in those notes was final line, uh, final run of that, that race with the tire st stuff. Um, I just, I took rights. I still lost time to the leaders, even though I have the best pit crew humanly possible. So I don't know why I lost, like, three seconds to, to Ty Gill in there, but it was one of those weird things where I'm assuming they just took no no tires, which is impossible because I would have blown mine out, so I don't, I don't know. Then we went to Gateway, and uh, with less wear and more grip, tires were fine in terms of balance. This was a very competitive race for the most part. There was not too much, like, me just absolutely destroying the field, so that was a very, like, good balanced race. Like, even though I was leading, it was under a second it was just pretty good overall uh, then we went to chicagoland and uh, with less wear more grip it was too op normal but normal wear made the ai too op which is the point where i was like four seconds off of them so i, I had to change that so i put uh, less wear but normal fall off felt more balanced in the long runs uh, but they did uh, catch up to me but they never pulled away too much so it does seem like less wear and normal fall off is about the best for chicagoland again that's what I was uh, kind of experimenting with here. So Kentucky with less wear and more grip, it felt too OP for me. That's I was just pulling way too much. Uh, took it down to less wear and normal tire grip fall off was more balanced, but takes some seven laps to catch me. Uh, Pocono uh, w went well with uh, less wear and more grip. Still very tough, so either way, uh, it was good. But again, I, I only won because of fuel strategy, so that's not... It's just, yeah, I was kind of lucky on that win, honestly. And then Eldora, that's easy no matter what. 
uh, Michigan. This is the point where I just put the tire wear stuff back to just like less wear and more like less wear and more grip. And from there on out, I pretty much swept the season up to that point. I mean, I've dominated this so disgustingly. I won 18 races out of 22 up to this point. And our final four, our final four is, you know, me, Sauter, Friesen, and Todd Gilland. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to go to my settings, change everything because I did it. I, actually, I kept the same uh, as I did in, uh, in a quick race because I did an Xfinity thing off camera. Uh, everything looks like it should. And it should be good as well. We'll have normal, normal. That was a very long, long-winded introduction. But I wanted to get through everything throughout the season because there's just a lot. And obviously, I mean, we don't really need anything at this point with the employees. I mean, we have everything maxed out. So either way, we're just going to get into, uh, into qualifying. We have, um, you know, just the same stuff. Uh, we'll just go into that. We have 100 everything across the board. So we'll see what we can do there. And and see if we can uh, win, I guess. I don't know. But I would like to win, at least finish the best, because, God damn it, I kick so much ass, I really want to win this damn championship. Through turns three and four, I just want, I just want revenge. I spent so much of my time trying to... Oh, my God, I was six tenths off still. Thirteenth! If I don't win this championship, again, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. I literally won 18 races, and I'm still not good enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. I will lose my mind. Because I went through every single race this season, absolutely crushed the field in almost every single race. I just want to win this son of a bitch at this point with my own team. And I don't want to, like, lower the settings or do stuff like that. And Parker Kligerman is still Parker. Yeah, I mean, well, I was meant to say he failed tech inspection, but uh, Clay Greenfield's still mad at me. So uh, there's that. All right, here we go. We have to worry about our championship contenders. We don't have to worry about winning unless our championship person is leading. Then we have to win, but... We're gonna do everything we freaking can with a maxed out truck and all the all the hoopla to try to, you know, go out win this race. Or be the champion. And at the moment, Mr. Friesen is the leader of that brigade. Clay Greenfield, of course, has to be second, or he qualified fourth, so he has to be up here. So I'm sure he'll probably run me off the track or something stupid. Actually, no, he didn't. Wow. All right, well, I, I appreciate that. So, yeah, right now we're leading it at the moment. And we do have a good run in end finger, a little bit of side draft. I guess that pulled them back. I'm not really sure. But either way, new leader. Let's pull away. We're gonna finish third in stage one. They, you know, Harrison Burton, Clay Greenfield did get by me, but again, we just have to worry about Johnny Sauter, who is behind me, about almost a second back. So, not a big deal. We're just Gonna try to put ourselves in a good position for the final stage. And I think everybody should be pitting here. And when we do, I think I'll likely get the lead. Then we can just haul ass because we'll probably get first here. So four tires. And new leader. All right, perfect. So now we'll just get a good start, pull away, build up that gap. And hopefully we can maintain that throughout the rest of stage two, which I'm not sure if we will, but I'll try. Yeah, thank goodness we have good acceleration on the start because that just gave us six tenths of a second lead, maybe seven, maybe seven. It, it, there we go, seven tenths. Yeah, it's 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 quite sickening, but I like it. Eight tenths. Yeah, I like that. It's good stuff. Oh, second. All right, well that's even better. Looks like they're racing back there, so that that makes it even even more grand that they're just doing that. I appreciate that. Though they are gaining on me though, so which is a uh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh no, here we go. Oh, Clay, you piece of shit! Oh my, that almost killed me. What is this in the conspiracy shit that goes on between me and Clay Greenfield? Trying to sabotage my championship dreams and running me off the track. What a tool! What an absolute prick! I, dude... If you're lucky, I, I can't wreck as easy as I would in last year's game. Well, good. But what did that gain you? Absolutely nothing. What a, what an absolute loser Clay Greenfield is. It's just... Trying to alter the championship implications of the, the champion. <laughs> and I, did Todd Gillen, did Kyle Busch give Clay Greenfield their engine? And that's why Todd Gillen isn't up here. Is that why he's so fast this week? He was like running mid-pack in the 20s like he usually is. But for, for Homestead, all of a sudden he turned it up just to be an inconvenience in my life. Like what? what is this? How does that happen? I don't know. The rivals just give you, they just, they just gain more speed. That's what I've gathered from all. 
I'll take second in stage two. We we're gonna get the lead anyways when we do pit and all this cycles through, so it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, but the good thing is, uh, you know, Sauter, Friesen, they're fourth and fifth, and we do get such good jumps in the start that we do hold their own for a good chunk of it, so. I don't know what to say. I don't know if a pit stop would help us here or, or a green flag one. I don't know. But he's so pathetic. The clear greenfield. I wish you were aborted in this universe. In the game. Not real life. In the game. Because that is just pathetic. He just ran to me for no good reason. But we do get the lead. We're going to get a good jump. And we're going to try to hang on to it for probably five laps until we... That's when I'm going to lose it. That's my prediction them a bit but here they are uh paris and bergen clay greenfield todd gillen's now in fifth so he's been irrelevant during most of the race but all of a sudden now he's kicked it up a notch and clay greenfield all right all right Ooh. Oh, oh my i didn't mean that i didn't mean for that to, i didn't mean to do that well good for him he's got the lead congratulations again we don't have to win it we just have to be ahead of all the other people which we are not by much but we are and hopefully we can keep it that way. That really awkward moment when Clay Greenfield's draft is actually helping me. And I'm holding my own with everyone pretty well. So thank you, Clay, I guess? It's, it's weird, but... Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's, um... Just... Just me just riding in this draft has actually been helping us. We're pulling away from the other championship people. Finally got side by side with them on the back straightaway. Again, since he's using the outside line, he is losing a little bit of speed, but again, he does get great runs off the corner, which he will once more right there, Exhibit A. And, yeah, here's the bird still right there behind us, but Johnny Sauter and Friesen are about a second back, which is very good, obviously. But this is low-key a great battle. Like, I wouldn't expect that. But we are having a great race. Like, <laughs> it's just this back and forth, and I don't know, he's going to hit me. Why? I could just stay on the bottom and just, you know, let him run his race, but I chose to, to block him for no good reason. You, you had the outside line. You could have easily done that, Clay. Or not. You could just throw... Okay, well, that... Can you, like, imagine if that was in real life. Like, the, a random person that's in 30th most of the season does great and just constantly affects the championship outcome. Like, what an absolute dick. Where, where is the... the uh, where is the, the respect... Well, I think he lost mine when he made those crappy videos, so... <laughs> I'll pit this lap, though, because obviously, one, our tires are very worn. Two, we have one lap of fuel left. And we're just going to take right sides. That's what we did last year. And it did seem to fare us out. It's not perfect, but it did help us out a little bit, so... That's what I'm going to do here. Again, our pit crew is amazing, so I think we should, if anything, gain time. Uh, 45. Perfect. Actually, a little bit too slow. All right, for uh, right sides, uh, 1.5, that'll be it. Please, oh man, I just want to win this thing. Please just let it work out. 8.1 second stop, that seems pretty good, like usual. And we're out and away, and we are going to cycle out first, right behind Clay Greenfield. That's great, we need a buffer between those other guys, and we're actually first. I was, the whole field went down pit road there. Damn. Whew, okay, Johnny Sauter is a lot of seconds back, so this is good. We're doing everything we need to right now. And we just gotta ride it out now. I mean, this, this is really it. Two laps to go. Uh, nothing really too much to update. Blake Greenfield is closing in a little bit. It was about like 2.3 seconds. Now it's down to 1.4. And the lap before that was like 1.8. And then when we hit the line there, it was like 1.4. So he is gaining a couple tenths per lap. It's not enough. Again, we just have to worry about Johnny Sauter. And he's very far back. We're actually gonna, gonna catch our first lap truck, but. Oh man, it looks like, I shouldn't say anything, but we're going to get by Mason Macy with no problems, the frame rates dip, so that's concerning, white flag, eat shit game, anything can happen now, oh my god, we can do it, it's doable. Alright, we just need to get through the, these couple of corners, Clay Greenfield's really trying to, to catch me and probably run me over, but it ain't going to happen, what's a better way to win a championship? than to not only beat the competitors, but to beat Clay Greenfield as well. How fitting. Oh my god, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to finally do it. 19 wins in a season. We're going to actually do it. Oh my baby. Oh, what, is that? what does that mean? But anyways, yeah! Suck and feel. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful feeling. That's beautiful. 
<laughs> oh, and it played out. It just played out. Thank you. Oh my god, I, I couldn't be any happier with that. I mean, we definitely uh, didn't have the truck at the end, but it was still pretty good. And we just... I gotta say, Johnny Sauter actually tried. Like, usually of the final four contenders, like whenever he does make it, he's always last. But that time, I, he was second, so... Good, good for him. He's made some progress. Anyway, since we won a title, I just have to... I just have to rub it in Clay Greenfield's face for being an absolute prick to me. The whole, uh race basically trying to ruin my gene my dreams eat shit oh can you imagine that happening in real life just the car is doing a burnout right in their pit stall i'm surprised they haven't done that in real life then again there's always people down here so that probably wouldn't be a good idea but yeah suck it mm. Mm. smell it smell that just exhaust smell the, the tire well and i guess everything else but yeah that's i couldn't be any happier I, I want to cry. Okay, so championship standings. Harrison Burton third, Sauter fourth, Gillen fifth, and the last one that was up there. Uh, one, two, three. Stir freezing. Yeah, so it's basically first, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, I mean, all four of them were in the top ten. I got to give them that. And there's the rest of the results. I burped. My body can't contain everything. Oh, speaking of that, this is my last truck race. And then we're going to jump full on into Xfinity, even though we don't really have, obviously, enough money to really max out everything. I just want to focus on that and go through there, because I'm almost certain we'll have to do at least two seasons worth of that. And there it is. Our, we are now a two-time camping truck craftsman gander outdoor <laughs> truck series champion. One as an owner, and then another as a driver. And that's just perfect that's how i wanted it to be so my uh my truck series tenure is done clay greenfield of course with the fastest lap what a try hard and we do lead the most laps with 17 out of 36 34 something like that and brett moffitt on the move and the last one is mason macy all right well, time to wrap up the season and I guess pick an Xfinity sponsor or something and go from there. Yep, I would not have guessed. But we gotta check our stats too because the laps led we have and the wins we got is disgusting. I mean, it is just vomit inducing. inducing. And that is now almost 2 million in the bank, but we will get that like sign up bonus when we pick an Xfinity prize, so it will be. It will for sure be over two million. I think we're gonna get that incentive contract too, so that will also help. I don't know how we got moderate draw. Oh, I did. I did hit Clay Greenfield once. So okay. Yeah, nineteen thousand. I think that pushes it. Oh no, it's not. We're almost almost. Oh no. Okay, we did. All right. All right. Well, hooray. Uh, thank you, Harrison Burton. Travis Quaffel. You did it. Congratulate. He really wants to beat me up, but he he should know better because Robin can kill him. I mean, that, I, why does he keep trying? Either way, that ends the truck saga. Holy shit, Clay Greenfield tried to screw us, but it didn't matter. I know that just season just, eh, I know. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go right to Xfinity. Again, I could do truck stuff off camera and everything, but again, I want to try to keep everything because if I were to do truck stuff off camera, I just more that it'll just be more time consuming to get through the series. And I don't want to have this be done by, like, May or June of 2020. So I want to just, you know, get to Xfinity and... There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Why, why was that hard for me? I, li I have more... Like, the, the menus are harder for me than the game is half the time. Like, that's how bad I... <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to go with that. I'm sure that may not be the, uh, the you know, the, obviously the best decision... But I just want to kind of progress through the game a little bit more. And I think we should, at the very least, have a enough stuff to have at least 80 across the board, I would imagine. And all that stuff. So I just, I don't want to wait another, I just don't want to be another long series. Or at least until May. So I want to just, I, I said that like eight times, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to deal with my dumbass. Alright, so, Xfinity, here we go. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I want to participate in that. Uh, Star Team. Uh, we'll go with Channel Racing because 
I like the, the orange. I don't know. Very unbland. <laughs> uh, we'll go with that, obviously. Uh, let's see. Sponsors. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Credit one is like the best balance. We can go with serious, but that doesn't really pay out enough. Uh, per race. The credit one, well, credit one and Cyrus are almost the same payout. Just a couple, like, what, three, three hundred dollar difference? Something like that. But the signing bonus will definitely make up for the payout per race thing. So I don't think it will matter. I think credit one will probably be our safest bet. It's a Toyota. I guess people have a thing against Toyotas that they hate, but I'm just going where the money goes, so I'll take whatever. Ow, I banged my thumb off my desk. I literally had my foot, and I moved my foot up where my, where my thumb was, and then I pinched it. Wh Why? Ow. We're going to go with credit one. For that much. Hopefully they give us a good paint scheme. All right, so we got chassis to pick. 250000 so we're going to go with the Super Speedway because we want to have the best stuff for Daytona because that's the best payout race of the season. So that is without question. We will get that out of the way. And we'll get we'll get Marcy for 400 So Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Um, yeah, hopefully we can go into Daytona with good stuff. Again, that's like the most important race of the whole season just because the payouts are literally like 600 and 30 something thousand, so that's a very big bonus. So we do get 8,000. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, either way, we'll train that employee and we'll put her on there. And that's kind of like a little bonus thing, which I appreciate. So we can add more stuff to it in a bit here. I don't know how I feel about the scheme, but I'm going to. I backed out of the menu again. I thought I would go back to the. To the to edit the car, but I, I always do this. Why? I always screw this up. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can't edit the car. Well, I mean, I will, but I mean, I can, but all right. So, well, here we go. Let's start it up. All right, Warren. Great. I'll get everything set it up. All right. Well, thank you, Warren. I appreciate it. You think we have the making of a great season? It's, it's our first season as an Xfinity team. I don't think we're going to set the world on fire. We may be able to do something, but it's not going to be anything to what you expect. Though I think Daytona and Atlanta, they will probably go well. Not going to lie, they probably will go well. So we're going to go with the one in the middle. All right, well, um, 400,000. I mean, we're going to probably burn a million, all of this, very quickly. So um, I'm going to need a lot of time to focus. We're gonna add another chassis because we need uh, we need speedways. We, we freaking need speedways for the love of God because that's a lot of them on the schedule. So we'll get that and we'll get our employees and all the, the stuff like usual. Whew. All right. So, huh? This is a little bit different. So the, the, that's that's the base. The base is seventy five. I remember it being seventy in the trucks and dirt, wasn't it? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um. All right, so, oh my, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, good lord. All right, so, I don't know what to, to really put our cap at because, see, this, this is where I have to use a lot of brain power, and it's almost 2 a.m., so I don't know why I'm doing it now, but I need I need brain power. So one thing I learned, too, uh, with just the suspension being maxed out in the truck series, that helped out tremendously. Like it went from 90, like, that difference between 95 and 100, and 100 is such an astronomical difference in terms of just race performance and just overall grip that it helped us out tremendously, so... I feel like that might be our next priority next to engine. Unfortunately, Arrow might be last. <laughs> I don't know, but I think obviously all three of them are important, but I could actually put them all to 85, but I don't know if we have enough money to train our employees to get to that point. So I don't know if it's even worth it. So for right now, I could just play it safe and put everything to 80. Um, I guess 85 for that, because again, we don't really... that That's like the least of least pay is the, the pit crew, because that's only, as you see, goes from 15,000 Forty-five, hundred thousand. Okay, it actually does get a little pricey, but we'll we'll leave it at that for now. Obviously, we can still adjust it at any point. And that was five hundred thousand, roughly, right there, <laughs> just gone. So, um, I guess we'll start training the employees. I'll try to get them to at least uh, at least nine, if I can. I guess I, I will see. All right, so we can put them up. To, oh, so we can definitely afford nine. Like we're very close to maxing them all out. But I'm going to try to. Save that as much as I can. 
76,000 there. So we are going to probably spend a, a pretty penny just upping them all up like this. Uh, actually, that was less. Mercy was less. Because, like, I don't know. Boss interest. That's, it's interesting. Alright, so we got those all up pretty good. So at least going into Daytona. Eh, we could probably up the engine up a little more if we... Yeah, we, yeah, we can. So we can bump, dump that up. 85, 85. That's almost right at our budget. Hmm. Maybe I want to get another shop so we can at least get two teams working on stuff. If we can. That might be just our, our next best thing. I don't even know if I have enough money to train them, though. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, we're going to put all of our eggs in one basket right now. We're going to try to at least get our Daytona stuff as best as possible, so I want to focus on that right now. We can almost we can put it to 90. Wow. Um, uh, we'll go with 90. That's, 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 a, that's a lot, but... Well, actually, our max at Daytona we can only put is like at 84, so 85 would be just perfect because we're not going to really get any further than that at Daytona, no matter what. Um, yeah, really, there's no way. I think the most I can get is 87 max. So, we'll, I guess, go with that. We'll bump that up to 85, and we'll... We'll, put, we'll up Marcy up just one more notch. I think we could bump them all up just a little bit more. Just a lot of thinking, a lot of playing, because this is like a big bulk of the season done right here. But I feel like this will probably be the best approach, is just upping these up to 10. So I don't get confused later on on which one to, to put. So, um, yeah, that might... Uh, we can actually get one more employee for $400. Hector. I guess it'll be our... Engine department person. I don't know. We'll just get him, because why not? And we'll train him to go up to a... Uh, 100. Ooh, all right. We're going to... Since he'll be like our second guy, we can probably put him at it like an 8. Just for, for, just, just for safeties. All right. So I think that's good for now. We can max that out. 80. 80. So these we'll have stuff for Daytona. About the best we could possibly get. And then... First, be waste self. We can get Hector. Put him on there for Atlanta. Uh, we aren't. We don't have enough for a short track. But that might be it for everything. I think we've got everything that we need. Maybe can I upgrade any more departments? Yes, I still can. Yeah, actually, I oh well, just enough. So I can get 85 across the board. Well, I can maybe do that after Daytona. I don't know because we're not really gonna. We can't get anything further. So we'll leave it like that for now. Save our money. We might actually, you know, don't, don't need to do that just yet. But, yeah. I feel like this is a, a pretty good start. Already at the 85 and really can't do anything else. So, I feel like this is about the best we can do right now. I'm going to definitely adjust the paint scheme of the car so it's a little bit better. Because um, we, need, we need that Robin touch to it. Alright, well there we go. It's not too bad looking. The, the white in the front looks... Like, it's, it's blinding, but I think it'll mesh really well when you're under the right lighting, because it looks a little weird here, but it does look... I'm sure it'll be a lot better on track, but... Yeah, so, like usual, we incorporate a lot of the uh, Robin attributes. Uh, white for the, uh, the white uh, thing under her uh, shirt that she wore in uh, Eni's Lobby. Black for the black leather in Eni's Lobby. Purple, because purple is one of her, like, first appearance outfits, so... I just always like to throw that in there. And the stripe, I try to look at it to see where it would come up on the, the thing, but I don't see it popping up anywhere. So I don't know where it, it would show up, but I guess it's just not there. So it's just white. <laughs> and obviously we have the, uh, the pinkish here for her outfit. And so just kind of keeping that same sort of theme. So I think it looks pretty good. I think the Credit One logo looks really good on the car. And... It works really good in the black color and the white, so I think it looks pretty good. I I think so. I mean, for for what for what it is, I, it's it's good. I uh, we'll go. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna save that, and that's really it. I think there's really nothing much more to to look into. Hopefully, we could just go into uh, Daytona and try to have a good run, and go from there. Here's our overall truck career stats. It's absolutely sickening. 45 wins in four seasons good lord i mean that is almost in the that's i think third all time in the wins list 
1,208 laps led. If we times that by four, because I always do 25% races, that is a career total of 4,832, which means I think at this point in the all-time laps led, we're like in the top five, maybe even the top three. I'm not sure, but it's very freaking close to it. So already in 72 starts, we pretty much became a like a top five truck driver of all time. Like, right up in the, in that range. Definitely the best ratio of wins, too. Maybe ever? That's, like, over 50 starts, I, I would assume. I don't know, but that's pretty pretty damn good stuff. So, I don't know what we could do in Xfinity. Obviously, we had uh, four seasons of just those... Uh, those uh, Three seasons of those, like, four race hot seat things per season. Obviously, we only did one season's worth of those. We only really did four of them. The other what, nine were just kind of simmed, so... Those stats will be a little bit off, but either way, we'll go into this first Xfinity season. We'll try to do our best. We don't even have a cup seat, uh, hot seat offer or anything, so I don't think that's going to happen this year. I, I don't, I don't think so. It doesn't really just talk about showing off any other uh, uh, like cup stops. So I don't think it's going to happen this year. Probably next year, but I think that does it. That's uh, that's everything. I guess the only thing I'll, I'll change is just make sure I have the drafting partners enabled, and that's really it. So. Now we get to go in Daytona with what we got and we'll see what we can do. But that'll wrap it up for this part. So stay tuned for the next part where that happens. And I'm looking forward to it because finally, something that's not trucks. It'll be kind of refreshing. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters. Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave of Hunter Champ 15, Alan Gray, Morris Sports Games, Robert Dillon, NASCAR and Recite.org, and Bailey Carey for Indonation again. I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys. Each and every single one for your continued support. It always just means just so much to me. And I always just really appreciate it. And I can't thank you guys enough for your continued support like always. Well, I'll see you all next part. So obviously, uh, with every time we move up a series, we will have somebody that's not in it in the Xfinity series. And I guess it's Zane Smith. I guess so. Well, I don't know why our car says 99 when it's 79, but whatever. Either way, um, that'll do it for uh, this part. I'll see you all in the next one where we begin our Xfinity season. So I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.